And no. nope. No. <laughs> uh, uh, total fail. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome back to Tesla's Wild. If you're new here, my name is Colin. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider liking and subscribing below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. One quick reminder, there's a comment pinned below with timestamps so you can hop this video and view the portions most relevant to you. All right, so we got another software update for the Tesla Model 3. Super excited about this. Every single update I'm so excited about and then a little bit of me dies inside because it's not smart summon. However, they're still releasing a lot of really cool features. So my Tesla Model 3 was just updated to the 2019.28.2 software. We've heard a little bit about this. It comes with a lot of new features, including a new game and some more convenience features and just general improvements. So we're going to do our usual testing here. We're going to go through the update, check out some of the new features and go to Deer Creek Canyon and test out the autopilot to see if there are any sort of improvements there. So if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay tuned and we will see you guys shortly. All right, so as always, we have the what's new in this update page pulled up. And as we can see right away, there's a few new cool features listed right at the top here. The first is linking a key to a driver profile. So we all know that you can set up different driver profiles with seating and steering wheel and mirror positions. Now what this does is allows you to associate a key with a certain driver profile. So now somebody can walk up and unlock the car with a key and the car will automatically know to set their driver profile, which is very, very cool. The next thing is an advertisement we saw a couple weeks ago or a week ago about chess, a new game being added to the arcade. This looks like a lot of fun. You can play against your passenger, so it's another two-player game, or you can play against various levels of AI. They are just continually improving your experience while you are waiting at a supercharger. They added the game controller support for Beach Buggy 2 Racing. As long as it has a USB connection, you can now connect it to the vehicle and play Beach Buggy 2, which is a lot of fun. They also made some improvements to the media volume, so now the Volume will lower whenever any door is opened as opposed to just the driver's side door. Also, while your phone is paired to Bluetooth, the audio volume will match the vehicle's volume level regardless of your phone volume settings. I don't really know why this is a big deal, but you know, it is what it is. They also added another dog mode improvement. You know, we've got a couple, uh, couple updates now where they're improving dog mode. This will now restrict any manual climate adjustments except for temperature. All right, so now that we've gone over those features, we're gonna go in and check out the new chess game as well as the keys. And then finally, we're gonna go back to Deer Creek Canyon and test this out and see if there's any improvements over last time. The 24.4 update was actually kind of a downgrade to autopilot in my opinion, uh, when we compare it to every other test that we've done for autopilot on this channel. Let's get into chess as well as the keys and uh, we'll move on from there. All right, so as we can see, we do have the Tesla Arcade pulled up here and second from the top is the new chess game. I am always a fan of chess. I've played chess for a while. I'm not necessarily good, but it's really cool to see that they're adding such a variety of games to play while waiting in a supercharger or just chilling in a parking lot or whatever you might be doing. Immediately it goes into uh, the normal setup here. I believe immediately you're playing against the vehicle. Uh, you can change it in settings here. The driver, the different levels of difficulty are Master Control Program, Joshua, Omnius and HAL 9000. I'm sure these are references to things that I do not know about and I'm sorry about that. Or you can set it to uh, play against the passenger and switch sides as well. Tap the piece that you want to do and move it either one or two spaces considering this is a pawn and the first movement. So we're going to move it out here, quickly moves and you get the picture. Very quick which is awesome. Anyways, I'm not going to show an entire game of this, but it is pretty fun. It's very responsive. It looks kind of old school, which is actually, I kind of like it. So, all right. So now let's move on to the keys with the driver profiles. Okay, so now we have opened up the Tesla UI here. We can see that I have a few different uh, locks to the vehicle. Mainly, I have uh, my mother's iPhone, my iPhone, and two key cards. Okay, so what I believe we can do is create a new driver profile. We'll call it test. Enter. 
and we're gonna move things around maybe we'll just keep them exactly as they are and we're gonna save it as test to link a key to a driver profile tap the profile icon next to the associated key in controls locks okay so now that we've added a new profile, we can say Colin's iPhone. I want it to be associated with test, which is exactly the same as my current settings. So pretty cool that you can now do this and it will immediately go into a position that you know will be good for whoever's driving the vehicle. All right, so that's basically everything that I would like to go over. Now let's get back over to Deer Creek Canyon, test out the autopilot and see if there's any sort of improvements. We'll see you guys on the road shortly. All right, so we are back at the lane change error that we've done the past two videos now, just to see how well it does. So we're gonna implement autopilot and see how well it does with the splitting lane coming up ahead. In the previous updates, it mistakes the left lane for the main lane and goes into the wrong lane and no improvement on this one. All it it was a bit more hesitant, it seemed. All right, so we are back at Deer Creek Canyon Road here. I got my mom in the car because she had so much fun last time. Uh, we are on 2019.28.2, so we're gonna see if autopilot performs any better than 24.4. As we saw in the last video, it did not perform very well. And I would like to say that this is the exact same that I test autopilot every single time. So I do it very quickly after the update. I use autopilot on the way here, but from there, it is the same as every single video. So we have turned on autopilot, which is indicated by this blue steering wheel on the left here. The speed limit is set at 40. And this time what we've done differently is we've actually set a navigation route to see if that helps it any better around these turns where it should be slowing down. So with it navigated, it does seem to be uh, slowing down a little bit better. I wouldn't necessarily say that the performance is any better. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Definitely quite a struggle. I'm definitely seeing absolutely no improvement so far. I know I was accelerating into a 20 mile per hour turn I would say that having the navigation on helps none nothing whatsoever so we do have the speed set at 40 and it is currently going 31 miles per hour Woo. all right a little bit of a struggle on that turn So we do have a bike, a bicyclist up on the right here. Hopefully it stays far enough away. D didn't do too bad. Slowing for this right turn. Woo, okay, okay. Not so good this time around. More bikes. More bikes, okay. Maintaining a good distance from them. Not too bad. All right, so I'm canceling the navigation because that doesn't seem to help whatsoever. And I wasn't sure exactly on the map where I end things. Here is the most terrifying turn with the rock wall and sharp left turn. Ah! <laughs> Followed, by Followed by a sharp right, sharp right, sharp right, even sharper right, even sharper right. And no. nope. <laughs> Uh, total fail. No. All right, so I had to take over. Autopilot is back on. And one of the toughest turns on this entire trip here. 
is this right turn. It's slowing itself down. We're at 30. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh, look at that. It did it. <laughs> It didn't even yell, so uh, maybe some slight improvement there. Not a lot of slight improvement, but some. And yeah, definitely not very smooth this trip either. I uh, don't know what's going on with these past two updates, but we are to the end of our autopilot testing section here. So we're going to get off and uh, get back and close this All video right, up. So there we have it. There is the new software update 2019.28.2. As I said, I got this earlier today. I did do a bit of driving around with autopilot because I've heard a lot in the past videos that there is a calibration period. However, I have not noticed it in the past. For about the past like six or seven updates, I've noticed that autopilot has continually gotten better and better without any calibration. These past two times, however, it is seemingly getting worse and worse on our Deer Creek Canyon road that we do all of this testing on. So we saw quite a few instances where it was just really struggling, was yelling at me to take over, and uh, yeah, on that one really tricky turn, it did actually make it, it didn't shut off, it did go way over the lane as you saw in the video. However, uh, overall, it's just not improving with these past couple updates as you guys can see. So now this is a sort of uh, pseudo highway road thing that's in the back country. Autopilot is not necessarily made for this. We know that it's made for uh, well-known big highways. However, the thing that I try and show the most in these videos is comparisons to previous updates. Not necessarily how well it performs on this road, but how well did it perform compared to last time on these turns with slowing itself down, with predicting where it needs to go, that sort of thing. We also saw that I have it I had it navigated this time. There were a couple comments on the previous video about having it navigated somewhere to see if it performed any better. In my opinion, it did not. It was, uh, again, doing way worse than it ever has. So past two updates are definitely a struggle. But other than autopilot, they did release a couple new features. You can now associate keys and locks with driver profiles. So immediately when you unlock the car, it knows who's unlocking the car and sets the car up to be driven by that person. We also did get the new game chess, which is awesome. They previewed that a little while back and now you do have it. So just more and more exciting features being released for while you're at the supercharger. Overall, these are all super exciting, but I just can't help being disappointed with every update because smart summon is not there or advanced summon. I know we're going to get it soon, but it's just like, I really want it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like and subscribe button down below. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I've got a lot of new content coming your way. So make sure you stay tuned and we will see you guys next video.